What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium. I react to video game music from games I've never heard about or played as a musician myself. Today I'm going to be doing a Platinum request for Orange, a game that has been requested a lot, Plock. I hope I'm saying that right. And the song is just called Boss. I don't think there was a song title, but we're going straight to the end apparently, we're going straight to the boss. Now, before I get started, I've had a lot of praise in the comments for a while now for this composer named Tim Fallen, Tim Fallen, and that's it. I mean, I just get a lot of praise, like, hey, dude, check out Tim, just check out this Tim filler. And I'm like, okay, well, when I get to it. So this is, I don't know if I've, if I've heard anything from him before, maybe, but I don't know. There's a lot of anticipation going to this one just because of how great this composer is, so I'm going to try to have a clean slate of mind, but this is the boss music from Plock. Whoa. 
Whoa, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that I understand. You know, I try to go in like unbiased, just kind of whatever, like, oh, you know. But I, I get it. Months and months of people tell me about this composer. And I get it. I just, I just put myself, I didn't own a, a SNES, but I put myself in that position. I, I traveled back in time in a different reality where I didn't own a Sega and I owned a, a SNES instead. I can imagine being X years old, hitting that purple switch, holding that gray controller, playing this game that I have, like that, I don't know what that image is, or even the, I don't know, it's like a comic or a cartoon. And then you hear that playing through your, you know, your those big TVs, what are they called, CRTs? <laughs> Holy moly. The first thing that came to my, my head was, that was ahead of its time. I don't know what year this was, I'm just basing it off of the era. Which I'm guessing is like, early to mid 90s. I'm so confused, because the game is called Pluck. So it could be about anything. It looks kind of like an alien creature, and I got kind of sci-fi vibes. Although, that song could have played anywhere, so as far as a setting... Anywhere. Holy experimentation, Batman. This... Wow. There was like, there was oscillating riffs going from left to right. There was... It was... <laughs> it's funny because I say experimentation, yet the whole song was basically the same thing over and over. Dun dun dun. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of this kind of ascending riff. And it, what made it cool is just the sound of it. The sound of the synthesizers and everything else, and they're everything building upon it, and building upon it, and adding all these layers, and then throwing these random noises in, like a laugh or a yell, which I'm so confused on, because I'm trying to think really hard here, and I don't think vocals were a thing in these games. Not that I can think of. So I'm wondering, was that like actually like a human being, or was that created? Because it sounded creepy as hell, and it sounded like a person, sort of, or at least the closest I can think of to a person. So that has that had me confused a lot. And when I say ahead of its time to go back on that, I mean like, I kept thinking of like Doom, right? I kept thinking of just that whole atmosphere of doom, just progressive death and anxiousness. Is that a word? I think it's called anxiety, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? It just has that ugly feeling like something's afoot or you're going through something right now. It's so funny, I look at this image and I think of like a kid's cartoon and like, a little jingle or something, and then I just heard. That was like. That was like a flower garden of noises to me. All all I kept thinking the whole time was ahead of its time, and how the hell do they create these sounds? Like. What? <laughs> so I get it. I get it. I get the hype behind. Tim Fallen, Tim Fallen. Because I can just imagine myself hearing that for the first time in its relevant, you know, time period. Even now, of course, it's still... Let's see. Two million views. <laughs> Woo, okay, yeah. So it's still very much, you know, talked about here and there. But you know what I'm saying? Like, just picturing yourself coming home from school and like doing homework and then all of a sudden you put on your copy of the block and you get bombarded with this soundtrack. And that's the only song I've heard from this game. So I can't even imagine what the rest sound like. If this is a boss, which is called boss, 
then I can only imagine what the other songs sound like. Something tells me that the rest of the soundtrack isn't as intense as this. Maybe. But I feel like this was created just strictly for the boss. I don't think the whole soundtrack has this kind of progressive, anxious um, energy. I'm guessing based on what I just heard off of this person that they have a palette on them and this soundtrack is probably super diverse. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm just confused. It's called Plock. There's a red character waving at me. And um, yeah, that was fantastic. Good job. Good job, praisers of Tim. You did well. Apparently he's done a bunch of other games too. I think I might have done one before. I don't remember. But I think he's done a couple. And I know I have a, I have a handful of requests for him later of different games. So as far as I know, this is the first... This might be the second time I've heard of him. But the first time that I know it's him and like anticipating a sound. So in a way, it's like I heard him for the first time again. Which basically happens every time I start a video. Because... I can't remember every single song that gets sent to me, you know? I get so many. But I'm gonna remember Plock. <laughs> because of the hype and because of the unusual nature of it. If you wanna make a request to me, you could do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are okay, but they're not necessary. They just guarantee that I will check out your song. If you do not mind waiting. If you do not wait, there is the Platinum Support tier on Patreon, which expedites your request to the top, and that is a limited slot position, only 10 are available. And a big shout out to Justin, Roguemog, Vincent, Jester, Kevin, Thomas, Moon Knight, and your average metalhead, and thanks again to Orange for the request. <laughs> Until next time, dudes and dudettes, my name is Jesse, take it easy.